Good morning. I bring you uh, greetings from the 460 other Southern Baptist churches around the state of Indiana. Indiana e kauhan Southern Baptist kauhan zilile somruk nene sin cibai bungna nene na kalau ron ten si. I'd like to talk to you this morning about a subject I've entitled Call to Discipleship. Call to Discipleship You'll find this in the book of Acts in chapter 2 verses 41 through 47. We all have a spiritual journey that we're on, do we not? As you see in this image, I was saved at 17 years old. Then I began to ask some questions. What happens now? Ultimately, I learned that following Jesus means becoming his disciple. But what does that mean? I didn't grow up in a Christian home like many do. I wasn't aware of all of the expectations, both formal and informal. How a Christian, a disciple of Jesus, is supposed to live. But I did begin to learn that becoming a disciple of Jesus means we are committing to certain things. One of those is what we find in Luke chapter 9, verse 23. You'd like to translate that okay, sure. for us? I'm going to read it out of the Bible. Luke Bungkwa Tsang Kulantum Na Karun Sierding. Look bungko at sang kulhuntum. Tule anza ten hena, zau kal sise, it hundu atun, ma zon ruana ka tan sun, tan sun se la, nidin te, a tinglam ta purin, it hun se. This is one passage of scripture that teaches us about what Jesus expects of us. Hemi he, zisu in adung tun tu si naki, a kan nun naki, a si ter indu mi, in sim mi, in zir mi laka si, pakat si. Today I want us to look at this passage in Acts that describes some other things that are expected of us as disciples of Jesus. Acts chapter 2 verses 41 through 47. You want me to read it? You want me to read it? Yes, please. Okay. Tidak sabung ni, somli pakatin, list rina kandak sirding. Pita in, pita in simi cu, mi tampin anzumi baptisma anlak. Cui ni, nikata anpol cu, mi thong thum cukin ankar. Anza te in, tidak sabol neni sin anziri. Ti rol ay tlang nak le, tlacam tlang nak thon, pol kom nak anay ring ring. Tidak sabolin, 
khoro har zale mu sakna mak zet zet thil tam pi antua ronga mi mu mu i thin lung sunga ti nak le mai za na kin akhat zumtu pol mu mu chu an pol ko mo i thurwal zatin anthil nei mi tla an to mo anthil ri nei mi le an hlon thil pol tla an zuari an nga mi tangka chu atu an tul nak ve kin an zemo nikhat nu nikhat boi pa biak in sunga an tong kho mo an biak in a rol an an to mo i tang dor nak le lung oi thanua min an ei tlang pachian an thang thati mi mo a mo ne nin mit mai tha an nga chule ni tin te in boi pa in an pola rundam na nga tu a bet vivo from this passage we learn many things about what it means to be a healthy disciple hito ka hin imi bible bung changa hin jesus christ dung thun tu sina ki a har dam mi khri dung thun tu sina thu le hla tam pi zer thai mi kan nei one of those in the passage it talks about that the disciples were devoted to teaching hito ka hin pakhat kan mu thai mi ji yang si ti le chu dung thun tu polin ki tir thla poli zir mi kha an chin lung tak te in an chin khai tir thla poli thu zir mi kha an chin lung za tin an tu lu to ti mi kha kan mu thai we see in uh, one of the places we see that is in hebrews chapter 5 verse 12 chumi thu thau thau kha hebrew bunga chang hlei ni khala kan mu thai Hebrew bunga chang le ni a chun tu chun zir tu siding man nan nan chu zo asinan pachian thu aram thoki sin zir nan tu lai rol ngai ei nan chu zo nan cho noi nan in lai also read verses 13 and 14 lai thum le hlei li na tla ron share bedding cho noi a in tu chu nau ha asilai atha le asia thei thei na a nei hri lo sikal sela rol ngai chu upa ranga asi an ni chu thlei dan thiam nak chin lung mangin atha le asia an thlei dang chiam zo sometimes in our spiritual development as a christian we have any chu kan thraw nun Christian din muni kan thraw nun than len na ka hin this verse is reminding us that we aren't growing hi bible bung chang bol kan zau sile o kan thang sau tak tak lo zia hi kan mu fiang thei si he says we should be ready for solid food in a simi chu yang sa rol hak ei kan chu zau rol hak ei chu ding nan si zau ati but instead we're still drinking milk asinan asimi chu cho noi long long kan in ring ring lai ti ati 1 Corinthians 3 verses 1 through 3 Korin kot khat bung thum chang khatin chang thum na ka teaches us the result of not moving toward spiritual maturity Tharaw lama kan thang len lo si le yang ve kin asi ti mi kha hina injir si If you would read those Korin kot khat bung thum chang khati sin chang thum na karon sel ding kaule kanau tla thunga in kati kan ti asi le nan ni hne na chun thraw mi pol ne ni kasim vek chun kasim thelo hi le lung i ti sami bangtuk le christian zum nak lami nau hak te bangtukin nan ne na kasim atul asi rol ngai nan ei thei ri lo thanga cho noi kalo pek asi atu khala rol ngai nan ei thei ri lo jenga ti le atu khala ti sanunin nan nung lai pakhal le pakhan nan i si ko i nan to ok tika hin le lung ti sata nan si i ti sadan in nannung ti kha alang asilomo he points out that the evidence of spiritual immaturity he me amu sangmi chu hi bible sangi amu sangmi chu yang sitla thraw lami nau hak te thraw lami than len lo na nun kha amu sangmi si is that there is still jealousy and strife among those believers in the church chu zia za chu yang sitla ka khran sunga khat le khat ik si ko na le khat le khat chilu mo thelo na phun phun kha ti sadan kha tam pi um lai ati when we see that we are not being spiritual we are just being like the people of the world chu mi pol kan mu kan nu na chu mi pol a um lai si le chu khopel mi thu kan dang la mo na um lo thara vi ruimi kan si lo ti na si We also see in 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 1 through 3 it teaches what true discipleship looks like. Peter kot khat bung ni chang khat le chang khat sin chang thum people who are hungry for God's word. Uh 
Sarau lami ril rong mi pol tu kah ina insim si. Pita kuat kat bung ni, okay keran siar. Lima pita kuat kat bung ni, cang katin cang tum nak. Cerunga cat lau nak mua mua cu lon teula tu pan pernol lau. Titerol non lau, mi ik sik lau, mu suam nak tong mang non lau, nao te suak pek bang tu si u, trao noi ti du u la, cuy noi ti nan in nak thongin, nan chang ding i, rundam nan si ding, ta siang limi ati bang tu kin, mi zang fa nak, mi zang fa tiem tu, boi pa asi zia cu, nan tep nga zau. So a true disciple of Jesus moves toward maturity, Jesus dong tung tu diktak cun anun ka atang liat vivau ding shim shim si. When you see them longing for the word of God, Jesus patiene tung kam hear hal nak cun long anun ane ding. They're hungry to absorb the word of God into their lives. So anun sunga patiene tung kam lalut ding kin real wrong ring ring lah um ding. This passage also teaches us secondly. Hemi hin insur mi apa ni nak cun yang si tle. That a healthy disciple makes us more caring. A hard na mikri dung chun tu chun kiyang le kap ka angay ven ati. There are many acts of caring, but some of those could be expressed. Kiyang le kap ngay ven na ki apun puna umtay tumi laki si atar lang mi hi Bible bong sang ha kan po mi pol chun. By looking at the principles of a shepherd. Yang polkan mutai tila tu kal din mun tu kali misia polkan mutai si. Some of those principles of of shepherding are these. Jadi tu kal poli misia pol tu yang tinggal mutai ti si leco atang lam vekin si ding. As you can see, we use these principles of the shepherd to help us as we make to make us a better disciple. He to call in to young to make in a tomb home and I went to me he can zout guy me don't want to but I didn't can tell them nothing from I and he may see can see re can turn to me um see the principles of the shepherd to call me um see at young where city lay the shepherd will help the sheep cross streams of water to call to E atu pol sangakan di siang teum nak ka atau resa tingkana arwe kai dengan si. A shepherd will show special care for new lambs and help sheep who have younger lambs. Jusin tu hal jun tu naute si mi ahoi acan deu hilau mi thazang aderdai deu mi pol ka alain atuam lom ding angai event lece dengan jusin jui nau tu fa naute ane itu thazang aderdai mi tu pihal atuam lom dengan si. A shepherd will care for sick or wounded lambs. Jusin tu laka adam lau mi le riam ma apu mi tu pol ka alain angai event dengan angai sak dengan si. A shepherd watches the sheep at night. Jun zan tim kala serangi ante lau nak ding senga tu kal jun it lau sing lavin aturol pol akil beng ding si. The shepherd protects the sheep from robbers and wild animals. Jun sin serang pol le misual ral demia le ruk rufi fi pol kuti si kalin atu pol ka ahum him si. And the shepherd seeks to find lost sheep. Jusin atu rol lagi si Allah wa mi an umpang si le kay Allah mi ka tu kalin a hol suak teng teng si. So we use these principles from the life of a shepherd. Himi tu kal din muni tu kal pakati atuan wale atu a mi polhi mang taratin tu kan nun naka kan mang teng si. To apply to our own life as a disciple in how we treat one another. Kri dung chun tu din mun zi su kri dung kan chun na ka le. Kri dung chun tu din mun kan kiang kap kan ngai ven na ka hi tu kali tuan vau na tuan dan hi kan kan man thai mian si. When a disciple is maturing, you will see the evidence through those who have these things. Dung chun tu kri dung chun tu pa kat hi atang sa mo anu na atang lian mo ti mi kan chek nak ding chung hi chil ta kal hi chil po la si hi nun chan zia da po anu na um si le atang lian si ti akan ti thai. They will have devoted themselves to 
prayer, fellowship, the goodwill of all the people, and sharing the Lord's Supper, which we see in Acts chapter 2, verse 42. Being a disciple means that we are more caring and the result is seen in this text. One is it says in verse 44 that they met in their own homes for community. They prayed together in worship and in small groups in their homes. Small group just as you were led to do a few minutes ago, a beautiful time of prayer as the body of Christ. Also points out in verses 44 through 46 that they met one another's needs. How do we look for and care for the needs of each other? Being a disciple also causes real worship in our life. It reminds us in the Acts 4 or Acts 2 passage. That they met in the synagogue and they also met in each other's homes. Remember, Reminds us in that passage that they worship together by seeing God together, seeing God at work together. They were spiritually together, seeking God together. They also worship together by praising God together, which you just exhibited very well. And we're reminded in verse 42 that they celebrated Jesus' life through the Lord's Supper. Another way that they worshipped was by following Jesus in baptism. Seeing people identify with Jesus by following him in baptism. They also expressed their worship as it you see in verse 43 with that sense of awe. Those moments when God does something you can't explain any other way than that God did this. Look at how God answered this prayer. That person I never thought would come to Christ. 
God broke through their hard heart and they trusted in Jesus as their Savior. Those are great God moments. So we kasi anmang bang tertutu. The result of all of this we see in verse 47. Was that God was adding to their number daily those who would be saved. Interesting in this passage. Many times we look at verse 47. And we think that that's the result of doing all of these other things that are listed in verses 42 through 46. Ah, himi hi and that's somewhat true. But ultimately, what happened before verse 41 is what really mattered. Remember, Peter had preached a great sermon. And over 3,000 people had trusted in Jesus. So verses 41 through 47 are a reminder of those people who had come to, to Jesus Christ. Which is a reminder to us that we need to be telling others about Jesus. And when they come to follow Jesus and be his disciple, it's up to us to help disciple them and train them up and show them what it means to follow Jesus. So I ask you to ask yourself a question. Have you been called to be his disciple? Where are you in that calling of discipleship? Are you growing and maturing in your faith? Are you spending time with God in His Word? Are you learning ways to care about other people? Are you looking for better ways to worship your, your Savior? Are you called to be a disciple of Jesus? If you've given your life to Him and ask Him to be your Savior, then the answer is yes, He has called you to be His disciple. Would you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence here this morning. I thank you for these brothers and sisters in Christ. Our paths may have come from different places. From even different countries. 
We may speak a different language. Our skin color may look a little different. But Lord Jesus, we hold to the promise that irregardless of all of those things that separate us, you unify us in our faith in you. You make us one in Christ. I pray for each person that's here today that they would look in their own heart and their own life and see how effective of a disciple that they are being for you. May we all be challenged by your word. To be a growing disciple. A disciple that is seeking the solid food of your word. And not be satisfied by living on the milk of your word. Help us to love you above anything else. And help us to love one another. And we promise to give you the praise and the glory. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.